Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be looking at this right here. And this is another one from ARTTI, RD, I guess. Um, this is the Qi Chen in-ear earphone. I don't know of any other earphones that aren't in-ear. Uh, those would be earbuds. Anyway, looking at the specs here, we got 16.5 ohms. And 20 to 40 kilohertz. 96 decibels, that's not exactly a high number. Then again, these are planar, so they are going to need some power. It's a 1.2 meter cable with a 0.78 two pin connector. It's all 3D printed resin. It's a kind of an odd round shape. As you'll see the graph, don't worry about those spikes. They, they're they not really heard. I mean, it depends on your what you're listening to and you know the, the source of the equipment, but they're not really, really heard. And yeah, just looking at some of the other things there. It is a 216 core um, high purity copper plated uh, silver cable. High purity copper plated silver cable. It's a silver plated copper cable. I, I think that would be confusing if you actually read that. But anyway, so this is the box for it. This is the case that you get. Now you get the same chips that you do with the other one that we reviewed, the R1, these guys right here. And you, you'll get more, you know, base response with those. I don't know, it gets a little bit um, congested with those on. I would suggest the more open or, or even a different pair, but you do get a more open, a different, those are different from the other ones that the other one came with. I think the other one came with a black pair that were different entirely. Same case though. Really nice case. It fits the product well. Looking on it, I got the balanced version. It does come with 3.5 millimeter or balanced. This beautiful cable here. Really, really nice looking cable. These units, I like this metal thing here. I mean, they're, they're decent looking overall. Yeah, I mean, they do look kind of cheap when you compare them to like other things. You know, even KZs in this price range, uh, the kind of cheap looking to be honest, but it's that 3D printed thing with the metal face plate. Maybe it's just the shape overall. Maybe it's the color, this kind of like beige off-white color just makes them look it's a beautiful cable. I mean, it kind of really doesn't even match because the units are just kind of plain looking. But that's not what's important. What's important is what they sound like. Okay, so um, let's get into that. Okay, comfort wise, it's going to be subjective. It's going to depend on your tips that you choose. And this is just an odd shape. Uh, so I don't know, you're really going to have to force those in your ears and get get the right exact Maybe even move the foam or something because the the shape is not going to be for everyone because it's just overly rounded. And the inside of people's ears aren't, aren't rounded like that. They're oval usually or just an odd shape. So comfort wise, it'd be subjective. Isolation wise, once you do get the right fit, the isolation was decent. Um, base on this. The base was a very fast and tight there is some really good control now it does roll off quickly um sub bass that is it goes off quickly it has some really nice depth to it and it's some nice texture there uh mid bass punchy and with a really nice slam um possibly good for edm um yeah, just ultimately really, really good bass. I, I think if you're listening to rock music, pop, hip-hop, K-pop, uh, EDM, uh, very, very good. I don't... It does have enough speed for, for like, speed metal or something like that, or like Lamb of God or, or something in that kind of genre. I think that it would handle that good. I don't know if it would get fatiguing over time because there is a really uh, present bass response there. Um not overly warm uh i think that the mids are centered they're not overly forward they're not recessed this is hanging out somewhere in the middle um i think male and female vocal vocals that there's some good texture and body to them overall 
I think uh, ultimately, I think that like the female kind of a little bit more energy, a little bit more reach. Uh, nothing shouty, nothing like in your face, horrible. Uh, that of course will depend on what equipment you're. If you're listening to some kind of generic uh, dongle or something, I don't know. You know, I'm just using the few equipment that I have. Uh, one of which was the um, S9 Pro Plus, the Griffin, the Hip DAC. Uh, the TempoTech V6 and the Tri uh, TK2, as well as the Burson, and sound really good on there. Uh, like I said, these do like power, so if you're running them, you know, not powered, if you get the 3.5 and you're just running this off of your phone, it's not going to sound as good. It may sound just mediocre, to be quite honest. But like like I was saying, the mids, you know, not overly forward, not overly recessed. They just have a really good position to them. Uh, upper mids, they're very good. They're not shouty. They do have some energy there. Uh, I could see maybe with a poor track, maybe there's a little bit of maybe spiciness that could be had. But compared to some other ones that I have, definitely not there. Uh, now, like I said, there's just a little bit of warmth, but the, for the most part, I think that they're pretty neutral and pretty transparent. Uh, they, they just sound really, really good. They're kind of like in the, in the point where they're not overly thick, they're not overly thin. They're definitely not bad mids, and there's good separation there between the instruments and everything. And you can hear everything well. There's no congestion, uh, although it can get a little bit more toward that if you're using like really narrow tips. Um, treble wise, treble, very good energy in the treble. Uh, it just has a really kind of fast response. I think that there's good detail throughout. Uh, it is not critical listening quality detail, but it is pretty good. Uh, ultimately, I think, uh, soundstage is has a nice width to it uh, it extends beyond what you would normally think like in your natural field so it has a, a decent width to it overall uh, height and depth maybe not as much or you know it just at least with me it didn't seem that way uh, there's good layering and separation throughout the whole thing uh, I think it has very good technicalities I think that there is a just overall a very good detail retrieval with this from the bass on up to the treble and ultimately a really excellent um, performer. It may not be the best looking, it may not be the most comfortable, uh, but you know, performance wise for what is this uh, like $60, $70 or something, I don't think there's anything that can really touch this like uh, planner wise when we're talking planners and you're going to say this or the pr1 this or the pr2 i don't have the pr3 um it, it, the basic answer is this this if you're looking for something a planner in that range this i'm not going to compare this to a dynamic i'm not going to pair this to the other one which was a triple dynamic planner wise this one is excellent you could you couldn't do uh, any any better or worse getting this uh, I think that most people will get this and they'll actually like it with that little caveat it's an odd shape it's not the greatest looking I am out on the planet uh, it's kind of just plain looking so you know this is like the uh, I don't know I'm trying to think of something I, I was going to say Kia Rio of like you know, because it's just a basic transportation type thing. This is the basic way to get planner tunes into your head uh, without going over. But, I mean, the cable is extravagant. I, I, I like the cable uh, for stock cables. It's just the unit itself is kind of odd shaped. So, you know, you're going to have to keep that in mind comfort-wise, isolation-wise. Build quality wise, there's no problems with this. I know it looks cheap, but it's built solid. It is, you know, the resin, 3D printed resin. It's going to last. It's lightweight and probably extremely sturdy. So build wise, it will be decent. Uh, just, you know, it'll be subjective. It'll be the look. Uh, sometimes, you know, IMs are fashion and you want something that looks good and sounds good. 
And sometimes you have to pay for that, you know, even more. So that said, other than that, I think that this is kind of an improvement on like the the S12, even though this is a lot cheaper. I think people will like this a lot. This has been the Arty T10 that I've been rambling on about because I'm surprised. This came out of nowhere. I never even heard of this company before. It's a sub brand of like sure, but it, very good. It's very good. Definitely. Is it the best? I don't know. There's a lot of things coming out. Who knows? Could be the best, may not be the best. I gotta go now. I got 50 million messages to answer. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.